What's up guys? Today we're going to check out The Fall Guy on 4K UHD. I'm not here to talk about how good or bad the movie is, I'm just going to share some thoughts on the audio and video quality. Now let's go over a few tech specs. The movie was shot in 4.6K, it's got a 4K DI, it's rated PG-13, runtime is 126 minutes, the aspect ratio is 239 to 1, and the audio is in Dolby Atmos. Before we take a look at the audio and see how active this mix is, if you don't know what the Atmos viewer is, you can find a link for it down below in this video's description that tells you all about it, what it does, and where to get it. You can also find a list of all the gear that I use for these 4K reviews down there as well. You know, being a movie about stunts, I was expecting some really cool action scenes with really cool sound effects. Immersive sound effects. And sure, there's a few that put the top channels to good use, but for about 95% of the movie, most of the surround activity remains in the lower channels. Looking at the Atmos viewer, here at about an hour two minutes in, we get one of the bigger car chase scenes. You'd think that there'd be some sort of atmospherics passing through the top speakers, but there's absolutely nothing going on up there. There's a couple spots here and there, but really, nothing happening up top. Not even the music finds its way up there. And there's a whole lot of action going on in the scene. At 56 minutes 35 seconds, we have another big action scene, but guess what? They decided not to use the top channels, and this happens for almost all of the action scenes in the movie. Oddly enough, they go from action scene at 41 minutes in with no top channel surround activity to having six top channel surround activity in the very next scene, which happens to be in a hotel lobby. This particular scene does have good spatial qualities to broaden the soundstage, but it's disappointing that the best action scenes get absolutely no immersive love. At 13 minutes in, we've got Emily Blunt walking down the beach with one of her crew members, and in the background, you can hear people working, doing all kinds of other stuff, while in the top speakers, there's a chopper that faintly circles around the room as the camera follows Blunt's character down the beach. It's in these non-action scenes where you'll find actual Atmos effects. The good thing is, if you have two sets of surround channels, one for each row, if you have two rows, each set will get its own discrete effects. However, the wide channels don't get the same attention. It's funny because it's usually the other way around. The wide channels will get all the attention while the second set of surrounds will get nothing. Now the grand finale does get the most Atmos channel love, sporadically, so you will get some explosions and choppers that swirl through the air. As for the bass response, it's kind of a letdown too. There's plenty of explosions and car crashes through the movie, and it's got a little bit of a kick, but for this type of chaos that's happening on screen, I would have thought if you're gonna skip on the top channel effects, at least give us some extra low frequency effects. But no, you don't get that either. Now the dialogue, the dialogue was good and always easy to hear throughout. And thank you to Collidescape for supplying me with this copy of The Fall Guy on 4K to bring you, the home theater movie loving community, this 4K review. Now if you're tired of waiting a month or more to get your movies on disc and you're interested in grabbing a Collidescape for yourself, you can find a link down below in this video's description for our channel partner, Dream Media. As for the video quality, unlike the audio quality, it's a really good looking 4K transfer. It does appear to have a very light layer of digital grain added, which keeps it from being, you know, in the crispy status, but there's still a ton of finely rendered details to be seen. The peach fuzz on Blunt's face is very clearly there, and Gosling's chiseled abs look nearly as detailed as mine. And the textures on costumes like fibers, dirt, grime, all have that 4K sharpness. As for the HDR, this is a very natural color palette for the most part, without going excessive on the vibrancy. There's a part in the movie where they're shooting a sci-fi movie, so for those little scenes, you do get some extra saturation and a more stylized visual aesthetic that lends itself to that HDR pop that a lot of folks love. There's a ton of things that are blowing up, so you do get some bright peak highlights that may make you squint, and the darker scenes are well-balanced without noticeable crushing of any detail. It's an overall great-looking transfer that's clean with a touch of softness with a pleasant use of HDR. I'm gonna go with an 8.7 for this 4K transfer. For audio, this was totally not what I was expecting. I did see it at Adobe Cinema about two weeks ago before doing this review, and I didn't think the surround activity in there was that great, so I was kind of hoping that the home mix would be a lot better because maybe I was sleepy or something at the theater. But again, that's not the case. I suppose if you had a seven or five channel mix, then you might be blown away by the mix, but as an Atmos mix, I'm gonna have to go with a six for audio. Now this review is based on the Cloud Escape version of the movie, which comes in at 71 gigs. So if you're holding out on picking up this movie on 4K Blu-ray, I would just assume that they're gonna put it on a 100 gig disc, unless they cheap out and put it on a 66 gig one. Anyways, I thought this was actually a fun movie despite the sad Atmos mix, and worth a pickup if you have a Cloud Escape for only 25 bucks. So what are your thoughts on this Fall Guy 4K transfer? Have you seen it, and what'd you think of the audio mix? Leave a comment down below and let me know. 
Now, if you do want to pick up this movie, I'll leave some links for it down below in this video's description. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you want, you can follow us on social media. And if you want to support the channel and get exclusive content or great discounts on audio and video gear, just stop by our Patreon page. Be sure to like this video if you found it useful and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again in the next video.